What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at The Breakout Daily. We just got back from Las Vegas, Nevada. We hit a dozen shops, guys. And we're going to share our experience with those shops with you today, along with some of the books we picked up. We picked up too many books to cover in this video. We're going to jump into a little quick uh, a montage of our visit. So let's get this thing started. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. We greatly appreciate everybody that's stopping by and visiting us here on YouTube. Of course, over on IG as well at BreakPeer.Daily and on the WhatNot app at Breakout.Daily. That's our home, our your destination on if you want new content, you want to pick up some books and everything in between, guys. So make sure you're following us at those three spots. Also on Facebook, I guess, four spots. Um, so recently I visited... Las Vegas, Nevada, you saw that from the intro video. Um, a lot of cool things and a lot of incredible people I got to meet at these shops. Now we did, I'm gonna go through the list of the shops. We're gonna dive into some books I picked up, not all of them. I got probably a short box, maybe more of raw books. And I think I got about eight slabs. That is my haul from Las Vegas. Now, I was not there just for comic book hunting. I did have work that was being done for the bulk of the day, so I didn't get to go knee deep into the shops. I did, however, get to do quite a bit of shopping early in the morning, late in the afternoon, and then the rest was uh, work, and then late into the evening. A little bit of gambling at the hotel, of course. So let's dive into this, though. Um, we went to both Maximum Comics locations, both North and South Vegas. Uh, most of the comic book shops are located off the main strip. So if you're staying on the strip and you want to go comic book hunting, either rent a car or you're going to get probably a pretty steep Uber bill, depending on where you're trying to go. So keep that in mind. And another thing to keep in mind, if you're visiting, whether it's Las Vegas or anywhere in the country and you're anticipating buying comics, get, if you don't have one, I will have a link down below in the video. Get one of these BCW comic book holders. It's a hard... <laughs> Case, magnetic, cover, it'll hold maybe 10 comics. And this is a great way to transport books. Another way is this. And you might get lucky, like in my case, I got lucky when I was at Torpedo Comics. I asked them, can I have some of their diamond mailer boxes, their diamond distribution or comic book boxes so I could mail stuff? They said, yeah, no problem. At the same time though, they were putting out and emptying them so they were conveniently located. Um, but I did get some boxes from those guys to ship some stuff back safely. Uh, if that doesn't work, then you're gonna have to get some cardboard. I would highly recommend getting big cardboard pieces from the housekeeping at your hotel and then separate, stack them nicely, separate, build some protection around your books. You don't wanna buy a bunch of books and then them arrive all messed up. So back to the comic book shops. We went to Maximum Con Comics, both North and South locations. These are great, kind of the standard of what a comic book a comic book shop should be. They have both raw and graded books for most cases. They also have back issues and keys. Those are the main things that I feel like make up a decent comic book shop. Of course, they've got modern and new releases as well. Both locations also had statues and manga and a lot of other things available to the customer. Great staff. I actually met one of the staff members when I was at Amazing Con. So that went very well, kind of reconnecting, how's everything going, so forth and so on. Great conversations, great locations, and that is Maximum Comics. The next one on the list is Dragon Castle Books. This is a bookstore that has comic books. Now, filler issues, um, a bunch of the stuff that if you're a collector and you're looking to fill runs, those books were priced accordingly. In my opinion, some of the, some of the keys and some of the older Silver Age stuff was priced way out of range. I'm not sure if they're using eBay or what have you, but a lot of it was priced at the higher echelon. And given the grades that I saw, the first Gamora, I, I was just not enticed 
to even approach on those books because the price range was well beyond where the market is today. Nonetheless, if you're in the area, it's another good shop to take a look at. Fandomverse, talked to the owner for over an hour. Great guy, wealth of knowledge, nice shop. Picked up some books from him. Uh, Torpedo Comics, of course, I stopped by there. I've been to Torpedo at that location before. Great shop, great staff. There, shoot, I think there was like five staff members on hand. Um, they had some deals going on, so I picked up some books from them. Uh, Alternate Reality Comics, I love this shop. This isn't that far off of the strip. Great owner. I met him the second visit. First day, or the first visit, I ended up meeting the, the clerk that works there. Great guy, great books, great prices, and all around a great shop, and that is Alternate Reality. Cosmic Comics, another great shop. They had a uh, wider variety, and again, kind of that run of the mill of you should have graded books, you should have keys, you should have raw books, back issues, etc. They covered all their bases. Probably one of the most well-rounded shops aside from Torpedo in that realm of having a little bit of everything and enough to get you excited about being in a comic shop. Also a very nice shop as a whole. Staff was friendly, BS with them for a hot minute. Ghosty Comics, nice little shop, mostly modern in that shop, uh, but nonetheless a nice shop. Uh, Stunt Kid, Com Stunt Dog Comics, another good shop. Fire Force Comics, I met these individuals at Amazing Con when Hell Destroyer or uh, Sean, we ended up shopping at their location at Amazing Con, went down to their, their booth at this location in Vegas. A ton of great books, a lot of Silver Age, uh, and just a great experience. Talked with one of the, uh, the wife of the owner, the owner wasn't there. Had an incredible conversation with her for quite a while, talking about sales, talking about books, shops, so much more, an incredible time. Um, and then I did try to go to Jackpot Comics. They're closed, they're no longer at the location. I don't know that they even exist anymore, um, but that was at a collectibles and antique mall area. It's essentially a large room that has a bunch of like booths set up. It's uh, pretty cool to look at. They did have comic books, they had action figures, toys, uh, plates, uh, like a bunch of collectible stuff to include currency and much more. Um, however, I didn't pick anything up. There were some comic books there. Pricing was was not there. Not really any keys or anything. Um, overall, cool to see it. Just not what I was looking for. Cactus Comics, stop by their location. They are under new management, confirmed by one of the other shops. They were closed, but only to reopen because they're changing some stuff around with the new management. Those are the shops that I got to visit. Now let's dive into some of the books that I picked up. Now this isn't even close to half of the books I picked up. I've got stacks, you guys can see behind me here, of books that I'm still going through from my visit down in Las Vegas. But we're gonna dive through some cool books I did pick up. We'll kick it off with this Fantastic 455. Beautiful book, Thing and Silver Surfer. Early Silver Surfer appearance in that guy. Thor 136, that's a key. Here is Thor 135, Origin of High Evolutionary, another one. Um, let's see, 139, that's another key. Beautiful, beautiful Thor. Um, and, and predominantly, I was looking for a Silver Age. I didn't find a ton of Silver Age. Um, Avenger 7, King Size Annual. Picked up some awesome old school Green Lantern. Green Lantern 77, another key. Green Lantern 83, that's another key. Beautiful, beautiful books. Uh, Green Lantern, what issue is this? 86, his partner in crime is kicking the drugs. Um, and then we picked up some Justice League Dark books, which is your Swamp Thing. Some of these, I gotta rebag and board all these guys. So that is one thing you gotta consider if you're buying from a bunch of shops or individuals always be prepared to rebag and board. All of these that you'll see today will get rebagged and board. Some Justice League Dark Keys right there with Swamp Thing. What is that? 49 and 50. Got another key right here. Marvel or Captain America 28. That's a gorgeous copy. Human Fly number one. Infinity Gauntlet number two. I've got almost the full set on this one. Captain Marvel one. Bam. All right, and then we got some cool Scotties like the Indestructible Hulk, 
God of Thunder number one. This was one of my favorite books. Stanley Cover Excelsior. This is the No Prize book. Stan Lee, Harley Quinn number one. Road to Oz. Uh, Fallen Sun, The Death of Captain America. This is when uh, I believe Hawkeye, old Clint Barton, and Kate Bishop meet. First Apocalypse, number one. Batman 404, Carmine. He Man Solo series, number one. A lot of these I still have to go through, guys. I will be doing grading on some of these, and then the others will probably go on to whatnot. Good old Batman. This is the 635. Red Death, a.k.a. First Appearance of Red Hood. A very cool flash cover. First Kyle Rayner in a newsstand. Let's see. First full appearance of Jessica Cruz. So you'll probably see a little bit of a theme here with some of these books. And that is I will be grading these. And it is quite a few DC keys. That's what I was on the hunt for. Plus others. Justice League 31 for Jessica Cruz. Beautiful raw book there. DMZ number one. You guys didn't watch this series. You guys got to check that out. That was a great series. Fortunately, I feel like it got canceled early. Blade, the Vampire Hunter number one. Near Mint, gorgeous book. Suicide Squad number one. This needs a press. Very nice copy of the book though. Blade one through three, all high grade. Shoot, where is number three? I must have moved number three somewhere else but that is strange tales blade there is issue three in here as well but all very cool books hard to find carnage a wonderful life direct edition another great book we have the amazing spider-man this is the first anti-venom 569 batman 405 actually i think that's the carmine carmine cover or carmine book big bird versus arnold schwarzenheimer Another cool book. I uh, got it. Uh, this is the first time I've actually owned any version of this. That's the Invincible number two. Newsstand. Uh, this is DC Comics Presents 49. The first time Superman and Shazam meet Black Adam. And it is versus Black Adam. Gorgeous book right there. The Spawn Universe number one. Signed by Todd McFarlane. This book alone, unsigned, has been going for quite a bit of money because it is limited. There's that Blade number three that goes to that series. We have Deadpool number one, first ongoing, not limited series, and then the Omni-Man Invincible Trade number one. Um, a couple of the slabs we have, Venom 26, first distributed appearance of Virus, free comic book day was supposed to be that. That's a 9-8. Wildcats number four, signed by uh, Jim Lee and Scott Williams. Unfortunately, it's a 9-4. Still a cool book. We have the Darkhold Blade 1 in 10. Uh, one of the bigger books that I was super stoked to get, Infinity Gauntlet 1, direct edition. This is signed by Ron Lim, George Perez, Joe Rubenstein, and Jim Starlin. 9-4 on that guy. Four signatures. That's going in the PC. TMNT number 44, signed and sketched by the man himself, Kevin Eastman. We got Batman, Spawn, or Spawn Batman, and then uh, 9 8. And we got Wonder Woman 750. Two issues of this book, both signed by Jim Lee and numbered. That is 10 of 10 on this variant. And then the next one is Jim Lee, 3 out of 10. Bam, there it is. So that is what we got. Again, I got a ton of other books. I didn't even, I didn't even touch some of the other Silver Age we picked up, some of the other uh, raw books that we picked up, and so much more. But we got a ton of books we're still going through. But guys, overall, an incredible experience. A lot of really, really good stories and conversations with the guys at these comic shops, talking about current stock, buying collections what's going on in the market, and so much more. So I encourage you, if you're visiting a shop that maybe isn't your LCS, talk to these guys. They're great people, great stories. And if you're buying in bulk, I went in and bought chunks and chunks of books. And with buying large volumes of books, I, I did 
work a little bit of a deal, not a huge deal, uh, but a little bit of a deal. And some of the owners just gave me a deal without me even asking, which is greatly appreciated when I'm buying in volume. That means more than three comics, four or five, six. I was buying at some of the locations, either big dollar books or, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 50, 60 books that are not your dollar books. They ranged for anywhere from five bucks to 70 bucks. And that was predominantly what I shopped for. Again, a key thing, if you're going somewhere visiting, bring, if you don't have one of these BCWs, again, I'll put a link down below, get it off Amazon. You're gonna want something like this. This is just uh, similar, this came from the Comic Mint, but you can get a Gemini mailer like this. I fill this full of books, filled this full of books and much more. You wanna ship them back to you safely, guys. That is what we got for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you're visiting Las Vegas, those are some of the shops. I didn't make it to all of them due to time restrictions, location, and much more. But I would encourage you, if you're visiting Vegas and you wanna get off the strip, or you want to go out and do something different, there are a ton of great shops, ton of great owners and clerks and everything at these locations. So enjoy yourself. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here so you don't miss a thing. Check us out over on IG at BreakPeriodDaily. Check us out on WhatNotABreakoutDaily. And guys, we'll see you in the next video.